Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll be using Katie's Bubbles. The camera's kind of flipped. I, I've been noticing in the videos that they've been uh, like reverse of how they actually are. So when I hold up things, they show a lot differently. But anyways, so it's going to take me a second to adjust. I typically look over here, but now I have to look here. Anyways, so Katie's Bubbles, Barnegat Bay. Um, you guys have seen this before on this channel. Um, I have the matching splash. Katie's Bubbles, Barney Get Big, and I'm looking at the wrong spot, and I'm going to move this over more this way. That's the splash. Um, for the brush, I'm using my only badger. I'll wring it out here. It's been soaking, but it's the Escali. And while I'm loading this up, um, on the review that I did, or not really a review, but just a shave, that I did with the little tub, this tub here from Katie's Bubbles. Um, Chris Cullen from Katie's Bubbles actually commented on that video and he told me what it was. And I enjoy the base so much that, um, you know, they, they do have that base. It's their luxury uh, cream base. So it's not the same as this. This um, is just the luxury shaving soap, like a pucked style, as opposed to the cream. So there is a difference there. And he told me, I don't remember off the top of my head, what the scent was on, on the smaller one there. But he did tell me what it was, so I'll probably end up purchasing. Um, I've been looking at LPV. Uh, that's the abbreviation. It's like, it's a French name, LPV. But anyways, I have to go and check it out. Um, that, that one is in luxury cream base as well and seems up my alley as far as the scent goes. All right, let me wet my face. The razor we'll be using today is the Solomon, or the Naked Armor Solomon Straight. Essentially, it's a gold dollar, to be honest. Um, just rebranded and sold at a higher price point. Although, you know, you're getting the, the teak wood. I mean, you're getting the nice bolster and the teak wood and that type of stuff, but I don't know if it's necessarily worth the price. Uh, no, I know it's not worth the price. So, all right, let's see. Yeah, Katie's Bubbles is definitely a great soap. I just, uh, I just really, really like that other base that they have. The luxury cream, just very nice. Everyone's having a great Memorial Day weekend. Unfortunately, there's no big uh, fights going on between either one or UFC or Bellator. Nothing's really going on, and obviously, sports aren't happening in the in the U.S. at least at this point in time. So, unfortunately, we're kind of kind of stuck with nothing to watch. Although. You know, there's plenty of stuff to do, um, at least in Louisiana for Memorial Day weekend, but, you know. So the CDC kind of backtracked on some of their coronavirus uh, stuff, um, how long it lives on surfaces and how, how easy or really how not so easy it is to transfer from person to person and that all kind of came out and yeah I don't know what to make of it all to be honest this is a great soap great sense as well Barnegat Bay is is a bay rum type scent uh, this is heavy clove to my nose uh, not a problem though because I I actually enjoy extremely heavy clove scents so, it's kind of a sweet, 
somewhat of a sweet, I wouldn't characterize it as a predominantly sweet bay rum, but um, it's kind of, it's like mid, mid range between sweet and uh, <clears throat> I guess musky. All right, I always have, it's more difficult always to see. That's the razor on my right side as opposed to my left. I don't know why that is. Yeah, I have no problem at all seeing this. As you can tell, I have not gotten the haircut that I need. Well, unfortunately, but I don't know. I'm kind of okay with it. You know, my wife's good with it, and uh, as long as she's good with it, I can't really complain. I don't think it looks great, but... Oh. No, we're definitely chopping hair here. Is it picking it up? It might not pick it up. Might be trying to pick up my face, but you can definitely see stubble there. I remember in one of my earlier videos using the straight that um. There was a comment that said something like, you know, is that thing even sharp or something like that? I'm like, yeah, why would I? I don't know if there's other wet shavers that have given some people bad... <laughs> uh, that have shaved, maybe, with non-sharp... Straights. I don't know what what I would be accomplishing by shaving with a non-sharp straight razor, but obviously nothing I want to accomplish. I wouldn't be shaving. Um, so I don't I don't know why why that was like a question back then, but it is what it is. It's like uh, yeah, it was it was sharp. <laughs> and I think the next video I ended up cutting myself with that same blade or no 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 I think I used a different straight the next video but yeah again still not extremely proficient with and add a little bit of water Katie's could also take a bunch of water this is a vegan soap it's not a um no obviously not a tallow and, uh, which I'm fine with because this is a nice vegan soap. This and uh, Razor Rocks vegan soap, and no, that one has tallow. I was thinking of cello, but cello has tallow in it, I believe. So yeah, there's, I mean, just because it's vegan doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to get a good shave. It just, just, to me, just the post shaves aren't as good. But, you know, I'll use 
aftershave and a balm if it's if the soap is too drying after the shave anyway. So <clears throat> doesn't really hurt anything if it's not a towel of soap. I just prefer a towel. Yeah, so my weekend's going pretty well. Um, yesterday, which was Friday, I had to get on the line with FedEx. Because we've been having a package since last Thursday, which today makes a week and two days that we had just not received. I don't know why we weren't receiving it. We just weren't receiving it. But when you looked at the tracking number, it shows every day that it's been put on a truck and that it's leaving the yard or you know the facility but then at six o'clock at night we would get another text message or email on that tracking number saying that it was back at the lot so i um and again that happened for over a week And my wife's been dealing with it, or, you know, trying to deal with it. And they just kept passing the buck, passing the buck. You can't actually speak to anyone at the facility. So they just kind of patch you over to their corporate offices or whatever. And then from there, they essentially just tell you the same thing over and over. Well, we're slammed with packages. We have this, that, and the other. Let me transfer you to this person. No, no, let me transfer you to this person. And it's all the same. Like I said, everybody's just passing the buck. Nobody really knows anything. Um, oh, meanwhile, I was gonna say, like, you know, you know, we're dealing with a pandemic and, and whatnot. I understand if they were slammed and whatnot. But my neighbors have gotten FedEx packages. I've gotten FedEx packages. We ordered something two days after. <clears throat> we ordered something last Saturday, and it came in on Tuesday of this coming week from FedEx. So it's not like, and it came from the same, the same, um, they call it like a, a warehouse or whatever, where they load the trucks. So it came from the same exact place as the other, pa anyways, we, we got the package today, but it took me getting on the line with someone yesterday and today, a total about probably four hours in total on the phone, um, spoke with six different people, finally got to a manager. The manager patched me over to a supervisor. The supervisor was able to call the local store and figure out that, well, that FedEx location had transferred our package to another third party delivery, whatever, I don't know, delivery truck, if you will. Just very weird. The whole thing was just very weird. Again, meanwhile, getting packages from FedEx every other week, like every uh, every other day. So, I mean, the FedEx truck came down this, this street every single day. So it's just very frustrating and annoying. So I still don't know what the whole deal was of why it wasn't coming, yada yada, but whatever we have it at this point, I'm not going to complain. And luckily it was undamaged. I mean, you know, after a week of supposedly being on and off and on and off the truck, maybe you'd expect a little damage on the package. But it seemed okay. There was nothing that I could see anyways physically wrong with it. So. 
so. So yeah, that's my rant on FedEx. Not have I ever, ever once had a problem with USPS, United States Postal Service, which I think is kind of the same thing as Royal Mail in Europe. I could be kind of wrong, but I think that's Royal Mail is kind of the USPS of the United States. But anyways, I've never had trouble with them or UPS, but FedEx... So like I said, I believe this razor, this Naked Armor Solomon, is, the, the blade itself obviously, is a gold dollar blade. Because when I'm honing this, same as a gold dollar. Same as a gold dollar. It's also, <laughs> coincidentally, I think not, the exact same dimensions as a gold dollar. So that was a good shave with a great soap. Oh, great making some oh, kitties bubbles. All right, let's finish up. Well, let's throw on some thayers. For some reason, I've gotten away from using thayers um, a lot. I don't know why. It's not that I dislike it, it's just, it's another step, I guess. So not putting it on is just faster. But what did that add? 10 seconds? Like, it wasn't that long. And Katie's Bubbles, Barney Gabay, like I said, shaky, shaky, shaky. And we'll slap some of this on. Oh yeah, that scent. Immediately hits my nose. Allspice, clove. Mm-hmm. Great. Absolutely great. All right, guys. That's the shave. I appreciate you watching. Um, again, we went with Katie's Bubbles, Barnegat Bay, soap, and aftershave. We went with the Naked Armor slash Gold Dollar Solomon Razor and the Escali Boar. Hope you have a good one. Bye.